Okay. Oh. Okay. Good evening. It is the middle of November. Can you believe it? Kicking through. The days get busier. The pandemic keeps rearing its ugly head. And I'm really grateful to have this time to pray with you. 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Again, um, one of my favorite go-to resources, BCP Online. You can do it right on your phone. Compline, in order for Compline's on page 127. The Almighty Lord grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all your sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will, will be forever. Amen. Amen. Pick a song, man. One to three there. Mm -hmm. 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. And... My favorite, number 131, please. From Matthew 11. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Uh, no, everybody else. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace who brought again who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. So, um, I've been thinking a lot about um, trust. Trusting God in particular. Um, because I can get really nervous really fast about everything going on in my job, in our life, the safety of my kids, the ability to pay our bills, the, all of it. Um, and I've had more success than, than not when I stop my racing mind and remember who's in charge. Sometimes that lasts a minute and sometimes an hour. The more you do it, the more successful, for me, the more I do it, the more successful I am at it. Um, anchoring my day really helps. So if I'm praying, I'm less likely to move into the anxiousness about it. 
but when the panic wells up in me about the next bill or the next week or making it to the next check or future things that, um, or the unplanned for things, there's so many things that can come out of almost, seems like almost nowhere, but um, the one thing that has, in the recent time, I've shifted to try to be more intentional about that, and that is literally saying, God, I know you got this. I know you got this. It doesn't mean that I go to sleep um, and don't keep pushing. Doing what I can do is our part of thankfulness to God. Um, but for my own peace of mind, you know, to be in that state of the peace beyond all understanding, um, what I need to do, and I, I'd love to hear from you whether it's whether it works for you or not, it's just as simple as that, too. Remember that God is God and I am not, that God has a plan, and that as long as I'm faithful to him in that plan, everything will be okay. Um, and that God promised, and God always keeps God's promises, that he would not, you know, I get, I get nervous when people say, I know God won't give me more than I can handle because I have been around more than I could handle. I mean, I have felt completely overwhelmed. I've been with people who I look at them, all that they are dealing with and say, man, that's just too much. Um, but I do believe that God will give you what you need to answer what God asks. If he's asking you to um, be a leader, if he's asking you to speak up, if he's asking you to um, show courage um, about your faith um, in the midst of people who are not overly willing to hear that message, um, I believe that God will give you the courage, the strength, the words, the knowledge, whatever you need in order to accomplish what God has sent you to do. Um, and for me, to the knowledge that God has this and that I am not actually not only in charge but responsible um, for it, that God's got it, it helps. It helps um, put to put one foot in front of the, no the next one. It helps to keep perspective on, because usually when I panic, I've lost perspective on what's really important, um, on how many people would help me if I asked, on um, how important the people that I, the, the priorities in my life really are to me which is you guys and your mom, um, which is the ability to serve God's people. That's what's really important to me. Everything else, it's nice. I mean, we got new used cars and they're really nice, but if I had to walk, it wouldn't get in the way of what's really important to me, which is you guys, right? Um, but anyway, that's kind of what I've been thinking about. Um, and I think that that is on my heart because of, I mean, you watch the news and it's just so easy to get shut down and overwhelmed because it just seems like um, this thing will not go away. and We have to keep adjusting and adjusting. We keep asking our seniors, you know, to wait a little longer. And now they just get in Sun Prairie. They just canceled the winter sports season until further notice. And. It just, you know, we sat there in last spring saying, oh, by the summer, it'll all be back to normal. And guess what? Now we're at Christmas. We didn't have Easter. Now we're talking about virtual Christmas. With a, without much of a stretch, you're going to be sitting at virtual Easter again. Um, and again, if I think of it like that, I get overwhelmed. If I think about... What a year in the in the span of God's love is. That perspective helps me. At least it helps me. Help you? Yeah. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I could go on for a while. I'm going to stop <laughs> rambling right now. <laughs>
You didn't even elbow me this time, man. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> patient. She's learning patience in her old age. And the words our Savior gave us, we're bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Who should we pray for tonight, Em? I just have a moment. I can't think of it right now. Otter and his family. They're going to have a virtual um, service for Otter coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so Otter, do you, know, do you remember his last name? I can't think. Howard. Otter Howard. And um, strength for the Howard family as they won the loss of their son. Um, Otter, we knew Otter wrestled for me. Otter was a good friend of Isaac's. Um, and our hearts go out to that family as they mourn the loss of their son and brother. Um, my goddaughter um, is in college and she is playing college soccer and she tested positive co for COVID. So Amanda, our prayers are coming out to you and um, for safe recovery and strengthening. Um, it is Joe and Nikki Whipperforth's wedding, um, and wedding anniversary, and so I um, send anniversary blessings to them. Um, it is my cousin's son's birthday today. Colin um, is three today. Um, Gabe Lucas, it's his birthday today. Um, Repose of the Soul of Phil Spicat, a really wonderful lady who uh, belonged, who, who, to, um, they still belong at St. Aidan's, but was worked very closely with me. Um, so um, solace to, and prayers for Jerry, her husband and their family, and Repose of the Soul of Phyllis. Um, safety for hunters as we get ready for opening weekend. Um, for um, the um, firefighters and police officers and EMS, um, and for our veterans, um, for all those hospitals, hospital workers, and they're um, in this area, they're stopping elective surgeries again because the hospitals are packed. Children's Hospital in Madison is taking adults because the hospitals are so full. Um, and so, and it's going around the world. The world's seeing a second surge. Um, so, um, swiftness and wisdom with those who are working on the vaccine. Um, prayers for the hospital workers, the doctors and the nurses and those working in the hospitals and care facilities and nursing homes and all of our frontline workers. Um, for administrators and teachers and students, um, winter sports athletes who um, have to put up with another um, season being pushed back or canceled. In Thanksgiving, for the new class president of the senior class at Sun Prairie High School, um, I know that she would that she hates it when I embarrass her, but pretty proud of. Emmy getting elected for the second year in a row as class president. Um, strength for those kids who are making tough, tough decisions about staying in school or not staying in school. Um, and those who are staying and finishing up um, wisdom beyond your means and a discerning heart. Special prayers for Anne and for Adam and for Isaac as they um, all move toward their semester finals. Um, anybody else you can think of? I don't think so. Covered it pretty well today. <laughs> <laughs> um, gracious God, hear our prayers and answer them as only you can. Prayers for St. Barnabas um, and all those that we love. Um, and special prayers for our organist, Jean, and with her daughters up north. Gracious God, hear our prayers and answer those 
both spoken and unspoken, we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Be our light in darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend all us from all the perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep, tend the sick. Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joys, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. And the song of Simeon. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see. The light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Um, a couple more that I thought of to pray for. Um, Prairie de Sheen, Trinity Church, um, Holy Trinity in Prairie de Sheen. Um, and Janet Finn and um, the good people down there, um, our prayers are with you. Um, I thought of one more, but it went away. <laughs> did I do the last part there? Did I do Gardas? I don't think so. All right, guard us waking, O Lord, and <laughs> guard, guard, guide us waking, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. I thought we did that. I think we did. I think twice. we did. <laughs> Um, a reminder that on Sunday, we're asking the parishioners of St. Barnabas to come at the end of service if they wish to receive communion, but not to come to church um, until COVID um, lightens up. We just want to keep everyone safe. Um, and we are making plans for um, Advent and Christmas, but it does not look like we'll be in person for those events right now. Um, but we will still be doing, I will still be in Richland Center. I will still be available um, if you need me, but, um, and I will be available after service for communion from 1040 till 1115, depending on how many people come around. I think I'm going to do uh, Father Johnny's prayer. I left this in church last, last uh, two Sundays ago, and let me tell you, um, I've I have really come to treasure because I keep collecting the prayers in here. Um, <laughs> be careful as you go into God's creation, for it does not belong to you. Be gentle to yourself and to each other, for we are the dwelling places of God. Be alert and be silent, for God's a whisper. And may the blessing of the eternally loving God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Be with you and remain with you forever. Amen. Um, I know that I have been getting, been requiring more sleep to keep my energy up because so many Zooms and so many weird um, draws on our body. I find Zoom exhausting. <laughs> and I'm on Zoom all day long. Um, and the stress that's cultural right now um, the, all that in a way of saying, take care of yourself. Make sure that you're eating well and drinking water and getting rest. Um, be well and be safe. Um, know that you're in our prayers. Um, and we do long for the time when we are past this and it was something we all survived together. From our house to your house, from our hearts to your heart, be safe, be well, and we miss you. May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be yours this night and always. Amen. Amen.